Alright. <clears throat> so let's uh Right to Sasa straight away. Here's my horsey. Always not properly yeah. rolled <laughs> Hopefully I will get some cumins on the way. Otherwise, I'm not even sure where I should look for them. Um, there was this village that we assaulted, in the the big, the first big battle. Uh, pre previous Slavits. And there were some human items, but. I'm not sure if they're if they're going to be there. It's going to be my last option if anything else fails. Human I wish I wish the horse just fucking Got penetrated by that uh, log yeah. instead. Just because of how annoying <laughs> being stuck and stuff feels like. Huh, bandits are back, even though I cleared that camp weird. So they respawn? Weird. Well, at least it, it works on bandits. I'm, I'm not sure about humans. If bandits respawn, humans should respawn too, right? But at the same time, it wasn't in the same playthrough. I mean, in, not in the same uh, day. I've killed humans and then check out the camps again, so. Just uh, more time has to pass. Not sure. Yeah. Charge! Get ready to flee. They're attacking. Lonely night. What the hell was that? Here got. Is that all you got? And I thought he would continue to move. <laughs> Fuck, this is hard. Not to hit the other guy. Oops. Just kill him, Jesus. Stop. Give up. That almost was a friendly hit. I hate how they don't react at all. Could have just made some lines, you know? Like, confirm Mother of God. that you did the right choice, that you helped this man. 
I guess he's too shocked. Whatever. Wait. What? Why am I... What the... How I ended up here? Let's see. Hmm... <clears throat> So I took this road and then... Oh. Okay. I never realized that this is how it went. So when I ride here, the, the Sasau is just behind this forest. Huh. Alright. I see. Also, do we know how this river is called? Was it something like Zdenek? Yeah. It doesn't doesn't show anything. Find Father Francis and ask him about his return. Agnes the cook is a very stubborn woman who won't be easily persuaded. Uh, maybe if I find Father Francis and talk to him, I questioned all the applicants. Fuck. I remember actually her talking about this father staying in the inn. So. Let's check it out. God save you. Are there any problems around here I might be able to nothing I've heard about? What? Really? May the Lord watch him. Uh um... Oh wait. Haven't I seen Father Francis at that church? So he's he's fine. He's just he doesn't want to come back to that rat eye. Ah! Oh my God. Nice boots. <laughs> what was that? A sign? Oof. Yeah. 
Never opened. What the? Father, I need your help urgently. You? I recognize you. You're the Scarlet's blacksmith, son. Yes. That I am. I'm sorry. What did you want? It may sound strange, but I need you to go back to St. James. The locals need their spiritual shepherd. No. No, certainly not, my boy. That's one place I shan't be going back to. Hi. Why? It is your parish, after all. A parish that's little but a ruin these days. And besides, God forgive me, but I'm afraid. All kinds of ruffians are on the rampage around Skelets. It isn't completely safe, but most of them oh. are gone. Yeah, as my talking about said, Skelets. Why take the risk? How did you manage to get out of Skelets? I didn't. I wasn't there during the raid. I was here at Sassau for confession. And why aren't you with our folks at Ratai? What if Sir Radzik has need of you? Look, here I'm an honored guest and well cared for. In Ratai, there's hardly room enough for the refugees already there. And what's more, the parish priest doesn't like me. Which happens to be mutual. The last thing I want to be doing is haggling with him over where I can sleep or... Isn't he here? ...slices of bread I'm allowed to eat. He certainly isn't known for being generous. Do I really want to convince him though? I guess if there is a choice. What what would be more impactful? Call him a hypocrite? That's aggressive. Have you no shame that's trying to shame him, I guess? Uh, would you, or just for money? For money, I don't think he really into money. I have more persuasion. Um, he's just scared. Yeah, they both uh, not great. Don't you feel any shame? Think of all those Christians who faced death and never betrayed their faith. That's something else entirely. No, it's not. They weren't afraid to face death, and you're squirming at the thought of some slight danger. Haven't you seen how they ransacked the place? Does that seem slight to you? Well, not to me. The Cumans are gone, but the townsfolk won't come back. And why should they, when the man who ought to set an example the one they look up to is shitting himself. The Lord forgive me. You're right. I should go back. That's there. terrible Steve. idea, by the way. Now I hear a man talking. And where will I live? My house and skeletons must surely be in ruins. You can live right there at St. James. I'm sure the locals will be grateful enough to give you a roof over your head. Well, it's true they've treated me kindly, and I do owe them. Very well. I will go back. Saint Thank James? You. Is that the church the near Scalitz? Saint James will never forget this. What people? <laughs> um. What is this crap? I don't understand. Um, Saint James is uh, in Ratai. Father, when do you plan to return to Saint James? He's scared to return. Why do you ask, my boy? What? Your housekeeper, Agnes, is in Ratai and doesn't want to work for anyone else. She's waiting for your return. So she survived. Thank the Lord. I prayed for her and all who suffered, but I'm not going back. 
I'll just convince you to go back. Concern, but to look out for herself now. God be with you. Uh, okay. Again, a broken quest. What? I just convinced him to go back. Or I convinced him to go back to... No, it was St. James too. What the fuck? This is confusing. Um, tell Agnes that Father Francis won't come back. But I just... Father, I already... Okay. Don't you that no, you have it there. You well, thank you. God be with you. Um I didn't update. <laughs> Father, I already told you. I'm not going any What? Don't you that no it's not you haven't the human the Lord forgive me. You're right. I should go back. There. And where will I live? My house and skeletons must surely be in ruins. You can live right there at St. James. Well, thank you. Take care now. Maybe I even can uh, Father, farm a reputation with him? Take care now. Jesus. It's so bad. So bad. My god. Father, so many fucking glitches with quests. Not, not even glitches, just uh, things they didn't do properly. <sighs> okay, I guess in this storyline, we haven't convinced him. He's not coming back to St. James. We have to yeah. tell it to Agnes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, got your sword. Better be good. Good day to you. It's going to forge it, right? Took For me. Some doing. Really? Well, that is marvelous. Give it to me, and I'll get to work right away. Here's your money, and if you want to see the result, come by tomorrow. I should have it done by then. Fine. Thanks. May the Lord watch over you. <laughs> 100 groschen, G. Well, to continue the main story, I will, I will be around in these parts, so... This can wait. Go to Bailiff, tell Agnes, human armor, yeah. Go back to Rata, I guess. Yeah. And now, yeah, I at least understand how to uh, go uh, to Rata faster. We've been going through the wrong path. Yeah. Wish there were places where I could uh, hunt humans, just like um, deers, boars, rows. Hunting spots where they they have a pasture. Yeah. 
Not sure what the hell is this path. I feel like I uh, goofed it. Uh, well, almost. Almost right. Oh yeah, I need to patch up my uh, saddle, probably impacting the stamina, I'm not sure, it should impact the carrying weight, but uh, I don't think it does. Probably a tailor that uh, fixes it. Might be a blacksmith, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Bridal doesn't. The fuck? He just ate it? What's this noise? <laughs> Henry, what are you doing? Cobbler kids? What the? Why am I wearing this? What the fuck? I need a cobbler for repairing saddle. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes total sense. that pretzel that's pretzel god save you Watch over you. Let's talk about the price. Ah, I don't care, really. I knew we'd come to. <laughs> God, watch out. Oh, let's get the kit to. This helmet is not... It's the same helmet that uh, I wear in battle, but I just 
accidentally grabbed it from another guy, so it's not really... ...anything. It's really cheap. Which is weird. Huh. Or was cheap, what the fuck? Okay, back to good shape. God be with you. Save just in case. Oh, Antonia. God be with you. Shouldn't you go... He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. What? Shut up. Shouldn't you be working right now? No, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. What? I'm, I'm truly sorry for... Save your pity. Good luck then. <laughs> uh. How are you? I asked around in Sassau. Father Francis is doing well in Sassau. He has no plans to return to St. James anytime soon. You talk to him? How is he doing? Doesn't he need his cassock fixed? He's always tearing it. There isn't a pew or a step he hasn't tripped over at one time or another. He's working somewhere else? Do I really want to lie to her though? Uh, what? I asked the abbot. He said they have work for him elsewhere and that St. James will have to wait. Wait? I remember the last time. We had to go to Sasa for almost two years. I probably won't even live that long. That won't be that bad. Meanwhile, you can work at Master Hargat's house and who knows? You might even find you like it. You're probably right. What else can I do at my age? And the presbytery is too big for one woman alone. So you agree you'll go and work for Hagen? Isn't that what I just said? 
I'll go and do housekeeping for him. God be with you. I talk it over with the merchant? Probably not, but let's confirm that he likes it if we can. God save you. Okay, nothing. What's my speed? Twenty-seven. That's pretty good, right? Because I feel like I'm a lot faster, Jesus. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm honored. Oh my god. That's Henry. I chose a cook as well. Tell me who you chose. Was there another? I chose old Agnes for the cook's job. I had a job convincing her, but it was worth it. She's the best cook around. Glad to hear it. I'll have to drop in on Hagen for lunch sometime. That's it? Good luck then. Wow, that's kind of nothing. <laughs> no out outcome. Like, I'm not going to see uh, this something. Did I pick wrong? Did I pick right? Who the hell knows? All right, so the. Not the only thing is also sword, the, the, but that is just waiting. Um, yeah, basically, only thing left yeah. is just uh, my friends brigands need human armor. Yeah. I assume armors do not sell it. That would be nice if they did. But let's see. Probably not. Bread! Bread! Rolls and pretzels! Cucumbers! Lovely cucumbers! Asparagus and fruit! God save! God be with you. Hmm. No, that's not cumin. I have no problem yeah. killing humans, it's just finding them. <laughs> That's the yeah. real issue. Actually, wait. Um, if possible, I should get more arrows. My hum. See you later. God say See you later. Just swords, damn it. Flower and garlic soup Salt. for the winter. Oh, for oh, come on. Yeah. 
All right, I'm going to um, prep it, prep it, then. We'll try to just get items uh, by rummaging in chests, since I still need to like get humans on the road. Might as well just travel that way. Yeah. I could wait until night, but it's so annoying to travel after dark. You always get lost. Near the fence is a popular place for bandits to show up. Not this time. Hender just uh, banged wife of uh, Sir Divish, which is probably like 50, 45 years old. Didn't even ask me yeah. for a choice. Not cool, bro.
Let's check if humans uh, respawned by any chance. No, I guess only bandits respawn or what? I'm sure disappeared already. Oh well. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to slap it, which is <laughs> yeah. Where is it? here and straight then more straight oh. Be, please be humans I don't really want to even sell armor for 2k or 1k or whatever. I just don't need that. Also, um, yeah, my agility isn't strength really high. I probably can swap the bow now. What was the best one? Ash longbow?
Hmm. It's longer. Longer to draw. This doesn't seem right. What's it with this place? Cutter's camp. We've been here. Then we try to go here. Oh, so I need to go left, basically. Yeah. Je tam studenka kamená, a v ní voděnka studená, voděnka studená. Já. This fallen tree was an ambush. Yeah. Ambush me, somebody. Oh, is this an ambush? Nope. Yeah. go a burger is back in town it's going to be clean isn't it what a cute little banner damn it Alright. 
right. Will this do? This is going to do. The. Hallberg? Shishak? Wow, this works. <laughs> they give you so many poisons. Hmm, I don't I don't think I ever been here inside because I got teleported after quest was done. Could I, could, what? I, let's see. <laughs> no. I. <sighs> Unless there is a wall in, uh, in this. It's, there is a hole in this wall. I could have went through here like this. Why why this hole in, exists then? Yeah, strange. Yeah, figures. There's nothing here. Well, let's see. So I got them all. That was a good idea then. Go back here. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
don't know, this, this little quest with the raiding makes no sense, because if you're able to kill humans, you don't... You don't need to go and rob people on the road. You can probably do something much better if if you have such ability and means. was a mistake. still hitting me what the fuck I'm running ah oh, that was a mistake that was a huge mistake Some things never change. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. That's probably better human armor. 18... Arberg... 13... Yeah. Not a big difference. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. We'll get to that in sleep, recover, and then talk to them. So how damage works of ranged weapon? Because Aura says 150 and ranged weapon is 123. Is uh, longbow power the percentage of damage of an arrow? Let's see. Um, is, if it's... they have 100? Damage is an arrow. Just one hundred. Damn it. But that would have been much easier. One point five on. Seventy-three, seventy-four. It's one hundred eleven, and we have one hundred twenty-three. It's not a percentage, but something. Close to it, maybe? I'm not sure. This one is just 80. Ride a horse, idiot. 
They gave me a nice beating. <sighs> I guess now I can just wear plate, maybe? Uh, I'm not a big fan. What? <sighs> Come on, open up. God be with you, Henry. Good day. I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? Should have prepared them. Well, I guess one of them is going to be damaged. Strange that I can't uh, repair it with my kit, even though I have 20 maintenance. This place sucks. <laughs> Here you are, and good health. Of what? What? Oh, that will do. Bloody lot. Well then, let's see how you look in it. Take care. Oh, is that it? it it's a bit uh... ordinary. Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Well, it's not exactly uh, terrifying, is it? <laughs> 
It's about as frightening as my aunt's speckled end. Just end. put on the helmet. You just don't look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Mirror Mirror's described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Miramir? He's a regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a human and he's lived to tell the tell. Tell the tell. <laughs> to tell the tell. Boy, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? What? Are you fucking kidding me? What's the... <laughs> ah, this is ridiculous. I need to wash myself somewhere. It must be... Just one place, right? Really? I'm honoured that you should come to me. They tell me you've seen a lot of humans. They say you'd recognise one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair curl. I will not. I'll get nothing out of you drunk. <laughs> Decent people don't talk when they're sober. Mm. All right. Here's some money for booze. That's not enough. What? While you were loitering around here, I started sobering up. Now I need even more booze, and that's your fault. <sighs> Thanks. What's your name, anyway? Henry. Hmm. <coughs> not long ago, I was escorting a goods car all the way from Vienna, when all of a sudden, a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We strayed off the path, couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing. With malevolent creatures rain <coughs> singing demonic songs. <laughs> Are these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow? Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The big choir. Anyway, as if in a trance, we walked towards the fire. And at that moment, we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? No. They were humans and a bunch of infants crying and sniffling uh, so someone was feeling the cold there's no infants in too. this game Snow that's, doesn't do me any good that's totally a lie and those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies mm -hmm. and fornicating with she devils we stood there paralyzed with fear until i and i alone managed to break out of the spell i can tell you I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape since that time. I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still under a spell. Yeah, undoubtedly. Probably a spell of laziness. Listen, Milamir, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks. <laughs> wow, Henry. What the hell would you know about it, peasant? I'm from fucking Scalitz. 
I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. <laughs> Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumours about how frightening the humans look? Oh, the people from around these parts. I'll be right back. But Bram, that. the charcoal burner told me about them. Do, do we really need he to know about that? Near. Then there's Oliver, the wife of the Talmberg fisherman, and young Vashek, a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he saw them too. Oh well. Why? It's not helping. Oh my god. We already know how humans lo look like because we fucking killed them and we saw them at uh, Scarlet's. Like, what? What is this? Ugh. Yeah. Waste of my fucking time. Nice boots. Again. Yeah. Come here, you fucker. Spreading rumors. Bran. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. <laughs> they say you know what humans look like. I do. Once the most interesting character in uh, That's of Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, but. Look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well. Well. They're decked out in raven feathers because... Or so a black hen would do. But that wouldn't have magical powers. Right. See you later. What? Why? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Black feathers. It's in the, in the hands, yeah. Oh shit, straight to stables.
I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I'd like you to show me, me teach. I hear you can tell me something about humans. No, sir. M my master would whip me for telling tall tales again. But really, it's all true. I won't hit you. Just tell me, is it the truth? Really, sir? I still see them every time I try to sleep. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So what do the Cumans wear? They wear the skins of dogs hunted down in the night. So no weapon can hurt them. Right. Thanks. God be with you. Hunt down a dog at night and skin it. <laughs> well, that's getting interesting. <laughs> yeah. Let's grab some feathers if we can. Sets stealing your feathers. Oh, do I need to <clears throat> bring down uh, nests? But I think I got some feathers from. Uh, the coop. Are you looking Mother for me? God. Do I have nests in this place? Near Butcher. So it doesn't respawn. <laughs> That's probably not how you get uh, feathers then. Uh. Such a weird um, collectible mechanic in the game to shoot down nests. Two black feathers. I still need raven feathers, or is this just going to work out? Uh, 
Oh, it's optional. <laughs> so if I want to get to make it perfect, it must be ra raven feathers. Can I shoot down the raven? I'm not sure if they are existing in here as animals. They seem like uh, just animation that happens sometimes. And I feel like I found some raven feathers in uh, in coops. next one in Talmberg uh, and if I can I can try to shoot down some nests on the way um, there's two here so if I start after the river This road. Really, have I missed that? I 
can't even see it on a radar. Radar. Um. Oh. It's on the side. Uh, still up. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell. And then another one. Here. Wasn't on my radar, but supposed to be in the middle of the road. So next, next guy yeah. near the pond. God's blessings. They say you know about humans. Fangs. They wear wolves' fangs to make themselves invisible in the dark. And they can creep around like beasts of prey as sneaky as death. Hmm. That was quick. Fangs. Goodbye. <sighs> oh, here we go. Looking wolf fangs. Tusk? How, how are you going to use boar tusks? Isn't it a bit too... too huge for your... Uh, your mouth? I like the idea of killing a dog at night and skinning it for <laughs> hide. But I'm too lazy. God save. What can Here we go. So instead of raven um, feathers, I have 
chicken uh, feathers, black ones, instead of wolf's teeth I have boar tusks, and instead of, uh, well I guess dog uh, hide is the only thing that is uh, authentic. The only difference is that I haven't killed it at night. Huh. Having a little picnic. Oh, that's blood. That's not... <laughs> what are you doing, you murderer? Ah, this bitch. I remember you. What the hell are you talking about? I saw you looting the body. I was looking for signs of life to see if I could help. Aha. Uh -huh. And could you? Unfortunately, it was too late. All right. I suppose you're innocent after all. I'm glad you saw sense. Now she killed this guy. And what were you doing here exactly? What do you mean by that? It'll be easier if you just confess. What the hell do you mean by that? I won't take any more of this. I'm going into town to say you're falsely accusing me. Okay, I will not have that anymore. I gave them so much chances to be reasonable, but every fucking time... They do some stupid shit like this. No. Yeah. Like first time this crazy woman just ran to a city and accused me in pickpocketing, even though she was the one who who killed the guy. Now this woman wanted to run and accuse me of something else. Is there even such a crime as false accusation in this game? <laughs> oh boy, it's not going to end well. this guy painted who's the bad guy this looks like a bandit uh, who's the bad guy bandit Back. Bandits. So there's two gangs of bandits. <laughs> yeah. God save you. Good health to you. <laughs> I got fucking everything. Wonderful. Come with me. Take care. It's totally going to work. What's taking them so long? God, I really don't know. Ready? Good. Now put it on. Hmm. Well, definitely an improvement. That 
That's good. <laughs> That's really fucking good. You don't think it's too much? It's perfect. If I met you at night, I'd shit myself. That's exactly what humans look like. No. Says the man who's never seen one. Well, I mean, that's exactly what people think humans look like. Yep, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> We're only just getting started. I haven't collected antlers or bones. Alright, and that totally goes against uh, how people describe the humans. Or at least it's incomplete. Uh, they told me they getting started, but the quest just ended. Is it a prelude to a DLC? Because there was something like... Like a band of brigands DLC or something like that. Oh fucking hell. Here we are. Have you heard about anything interesting? Just some talk about lost sheep and indecent wenches. Probably nothing to interest you. Maybe later. I was thinking of... I don't really have anything specific right now, but I did hear about something, something interesting from one of your neighbors. Who? I don't know his name, but it was about as old as you. He said his family owned the Scallets Tavern. Young Adam, then. Yeah. The interesting part. He decided he wanted to go back home, see the damage and so on. And someone looted it right in front of his nose. I oh, know. I've met those scavengers before. It's not that interesting, just sad, really. It certainly isn't Christian. But the thing is, they were hiding money in that cellar of theirs. And did he say where he was going? He said he's going to Ratai. That he has some arrangements there. It won't be easy to find him. Ratai is a little overcrowded nowadays. Then you'll have to ask someone, won't you? Bloody hell. Do you want me to hold your hand while you do it? I wouldn't count on it. The looters probably spent all of it by now if he crawled into the right tavern. And anyway, I'm sure they didn't exactly have the royal treasure hidden there. This Adam said it was enough to fix a whole cottage. Or to go exploring the world. Alright, but it still seems shady. And you haven't really given me much to go on. Maybe. But I don't have anything better. Why don't you find him and ask him and see where it leads you? I'll be on my way then. Go. Go. And ask him when you see him. Maybe you'll think of something. See you later. Alright. <laughs> we have another. Actually, know where Adam is. I saw him. This, this, this Adam guy, <laughs> for some reason I just uh, keep uh, just men um, noticing him in, in a bunch of places. Fuck, do I really want to continue? <laughs> just want to continue the main story, let's make a break recording.